hey y'all welcome back to my channel i'm raven janelle and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to bleach the knots on a lace frontal you can also use this method for a lace closure really any lace wig you can use the same method but yeah so i have two packets of bleach and um 20 volume developer and basically i didn't measure it but you want the consistency of basically toothpaste like you're gonna see when i tip it on the spoon if it like falls off too easily you don't really want that because it might seep through to the other side and then that's how like your roots be like looking blonde and stuff over bleach basically but yes yeah, so you just want it kind of thick so that it won't like seep all the way down but it will like sit on there basically so yeah i'm gonna just keep mixing it until i have that also make sure you have a spoon and like you know stuff to mix it with and i also forgot two things well i didn't have them on hand and like the beauty supply was closed by the time i did this so um make sure you have some shimmer lights just so like it won't be brassy when you wash it out and it's better to use aluminum foil like when you put it on the lace i'm gonna get to that part but i didn't have any at the moment so yeah <laughs> But yeah, I'ma just keep mixing it, like pouring extra bleach and like just mixing it. Cause honestly, I think I made too much, but yeah, I think I poured too much uh, developer in there. So yeah, just make sure it gets to the consistency that you want. And yeah, that's basically what I'ma do. So here I'm showing you the wig. Um, I don't have the details on this wig because my client actually bought this wig. So I don't really have the details on it, but it was like a deep wave curly, um, like frontal wig basically. But yeah, it was so cute. So now I'm gonna start putting the bleach on the wig. And basically you wanna like pat it in there kinda. Don't like smear it on like too hard because then that might like press it through the lace. So yeah just try to make sure like you like pat it and just like you know get it on there So now that I'm finished, I'm just gonna cover it. And this is where I was talking about having the aluminum foil. It's better to have the foil to cover it, but I didn't have any at the moment. So I just used this plastic bag and it sorta of worked, but yeah. Then I set a timer for 10 minutes. So now I'm just checking to see if the knots are bleached. Um, it didn't really seem like it was, so I think I put it for another five minutes. And yeah, I just basically covered it again and then came back. So my timer went off, so now I'm about to check. And this time it was actually a lot better, so yeah, I decided to wash it out. So to wash it out, I didn't have any neutralizing shampoo, so I just used um, regular shampoo and conditioner, and 
yeah this is where you can use the shimmer lights to make sure that it's not brassy but i use lace tint to tint her lace so it wasn't that bad but yeah i would suggest like using shimmer lights if you have it done So these are the shampoos I'm using, shampoo and conditioner. Um, everything I use is gonna be linked in the description below. So even if I miss a few things, it's all gonna be in the description. So first I'm using the shampoo and I'm just basically like washing the lace, like washing where the hair is, like the roots and all that. And just making sure I got all the bleach out too, like scrubbing it and yeah. So now I'm adding the conditioner. Um, I'm mainly just putting this on the hair, not so much on the lace. But yeah, I think I also comb through the hair too. You wanna make sure you detangle it and make sure that it's extra soft. Also, don't forget to um, start from the ends and then work your way up. Don't start combing from the roots because then you're going to start pulling hair out. But yeah, just comb from the bottom and then work your way up until it's tingle free. While it's still a little wet, I'm gonna start plucking the frontal. And um, I don't really know how to explain it, but you wanna kinda start behind the front of the hairline. Like don't start plucking like right at the hairline, like do it a little bit behind it. And um, I know some people like to part it and then do it. Um, you could do that too, but I don't know. I like to do it this way, but yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to pluck and comb one side so you can see the difference. Like, you can kind of see my technique, like just plucking behind it. Like don't pluck from immediately in front. Just try to do the ones behind it. So, yeah.
So here I'm showing you basically your left that side is plucked and yeah compared to the other side your right side um i didn't pluck that side but you can see how like thick the hairline is like how full it is so yeah i was just basically trying to show you like the comparison So I plucked the other side off camera, but I am gonna show you how I plucked the parts. Basically, she wanted a middle part and a side part. So I did the middle part first, and I'm just gonna pluck from the sides. And you wanna make sure like, okay, make sure that you're not on the root because then it's gonna like make it kind of bald. You don't want that. But um, yeah, do it like a little bit behind the like front, like the first row of the, um, of the part and make sure that you move your hand. Don't pluck in the same spot cause it's gonna create bald spots if you like take too much hair from like one spot. So try to move your hand around as much as you can and like just get behind like the first row. So here you can see how like you can see the yellow part under, you can see the yellow shirt under um, that one side that I plucked. It makes it look more natural like scalp. But yeah, this is the amount of hair that I pluck from like the whole frontal. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Check out some of my other videos. They'll be linked in the description. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.